Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing The Sims 4. <laughs> Creepy, I know. But yeah, I figured we might go and try and do some more police work since I was really enjoying it the last time. If you didn't watch the previous episode, it would probably be a good idea to check that out first. This is not how we expected things to turn out. Could I drink from them? Just stole it off someone's desk. Where are the clues at? Seriously, I don't know what the crime is. Jim did a terrible job today, but uh, you don't have to. We're going to go ahead and continue with that police career. You know, I've been feeling a bit bad for Grim as well. I want to change <laughs> as Grim is crying in the backyard. I want to change Grim into less of a businessman and more of a free spirit. We're going to make him a writer. Write children's stories <laughs> based around your inspiration, Jim Pickens. I'm not going to lie. I've often thought about like stuff that I could make a surrounding stuff on my channel and a children's story about Jim Pickens is numero uno but like it's really dark but it's done in the style of a children's story I would feckin love it 32 graves and counting this is a children's book yeah that's a fine description I don't know I'm getting a, a sick of the the need for plasma <laughs> As much as I love the pain that it causes, and the immortality it brings, I don't know, I want to change. What was that sad noise? It made that sad noise and it just said thank you for pushing my button to my son. Okay, he can teleport now, interesting. Oh, his heart is growing three times its size. Okay, I guess he's okay then, even though that's actually a serious medical issue. Oh sweet Jesus, I've just realized I think Project is now stuck on the bed. Get down off there, please tell me you're able to get down. Come on, I lost my other son like this too. Oh Jesus, I'm so screwed, I'm so screwed. I'll pick he aged up, great. Okay, but my son is stuck on the bed and he's most likely going to die. Oh, look at his mood. Child protection is gonna take him away. And rightfully so. <laughs> like, it's all well and good when a secondary character is getting stuck, but what if Jim gets stuck up there, huh? Then what do we do? All right, good, you're awake now. Help him, help him. This isn't helping. You, if anything, you look angry. Why is everyone just sleeping while he's freaking dying up there? Wait, I got a time capsule? What's this? I got this from the mail, apparently. Hell is this thing? I agree with his hat. We should throw it in the trash. <laughs> thing is awful. Oh God, he's having a great time at least. <laughs> he's starving, has no energy, stinks, and needs to go to the bathroom, but he's happy about it. Throw tantrum, you have every right, come on. Well, his bladder feels better now. Oh my god, he's trying to write a book with this freaking dog behind him. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be infuriating. He's just looking over at him like, can you please? He's still typing away though, look at that on the screen. Oh my god, that's even going through my head. <laughs> Can someone come up here and get him out of here? Oh my god, it's been hours now. He's just standing there barking. Please, where are you? Please come take care of him. Hurry up. What are you doing? Just please do something. Everything's falling apart. Yeah, come home. Wait, now that I've told her to come home, now you're going to do it. For feck's sake, I'm so angry. There we go, two books under his belt. 32 graves and counting and its sequel. Never eat your pet turtle and other advice for kindergarten. Okay, someone just knocked the thing unconscious. That'll work, I guess. Anything for peace and quiet. Now the nanny's bothering me. Seriously, dude, can I just write this bloody book? Wait, is my dead cat on top of the refrigerator? Dude, what are you doing up there? Oh my god, yeah, my son's gonna be taken any second. Look at him, he's starving. Emotional control is going up somehow. Like the only saving grace is he is having a blast. I'm gonna give out to the prisoners, tell them to quiet down, even though they're all in corners, just staring at the wall, thinking about what they've done. Cal, kill Lou. Oh wait, she's telling them to quiet down. What the hell, lady? I was just doing it to be a dick. What are you doing it for? All right, let's get a case. It's a shame I stole one of the computers. It makes it a bit harder to do things. <laughs> There you go, lady. Now get back in your cell. <laughs> see, I want to mix in two vampires with two humans and just see how they get on. Travel to crime scene. I just hope to God it's inside because I can't stay outside. I'll start burning up. Okay, let's see if we can find clues this time. Last time it didn't go so well. Wait, they're washing their hands. They're probably guilty of something. They probably have blood all over their hands. What? Are you reading her a story? What are you doing? <laughs> Put that bloody book away. <laughs> it's like, this will make her feel better. Or maybe it's one of Grimm's books. We're trying to sell a few copies. Ooh, nice stereo. This is evidence. Wait, he got a C? Is that satisfactory? I think so, since he's been stuck in his bed, he can't get to school anyway. 
I'm just gonna search everywhere for clues. That's my plan. There's not too many rooms, so hopefully I can do it. It's evidence. It's uh, matches. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any fire, though, so I don't know if it's evidence. <laughs> oh, he was caught. <laughs> well, I'd be worried if he wasn't. There was four police officers in the room with him. Okay, now they're all going inside him. Interesting. And now he's hiding away in the bed because he's embarrassed. <laughs> Hide from everyone. <laughs> Again, man, they're police officers. I think they might find you. Jim did an adequate job. He only tried to steal one thing that they know of. I'm really starting to think the policeman isn't the job for Jim. <laughs> Look at him, he's so embarrassed because they caught him stealing. There's too many detectives around. What other jobs can he get? Grimy police. This is not a family computer. I don't know what's wrong with the nanny either. He just stands here watching TV all day and I pay him for it and he keeps saying nice to meet you. I'm pretty sure he is feckin' amnosia. A doctor, huh? That sounds good. <laughs> he will quit his position of cadet. Yeah, I might come back at some other point. <laughs> he immediately swaps into his scrubs. <laughs> Even though he hasn't worked until tomorrow. How's my son doing? The hell? Oh, he's over there. Okay, good. Well, not good, but better than being stuck in the roof. Oh, look, he ate somehow. Maybe he ate whatever was in here before. <laughs> That's possible. Maybe I could travel somewhere and he might come with me. I could try that. Oh my god, look at Piggy. <laughs> In the relationship thing, he looks disgusting and disgusted at the same time. All right, we're gonna take him to a saloon at night. Me and my son just having a few cold ones. You ever just crack open a few brewskis with your nine-year-old son? All right, good, he's free. Hopefully he doesn't appear back there when I'm back. Travel to the lighthouse with Project. Go on, go to the lighthouse. It's ladies' night, the perfect time to have a girls' night out with, without breaking the bank. Okay, yeah, I'll be back for ladies' night in a bit. I just want to see what's out in this abandoned lighthouse with my son. He went out a boy. He came back a man. <laughs> Just in time for ladies night. There's nothing here. What is this? Really? You're out here on your day out. You're playing feckin' Tetris? This was a waste of time. This lighthouse is crappy. There's no one even out here. Except for this ghost dog. Okay, maybe this is better than I expected. Yeah, this place isn't too bad actually. I kinda like it. It'd be a good place to murder someone. I gotta give it that. Alright, it's ladies night. Which is why the men have to stay outside, I guess. Why is he not going in? You sure it's ladies' night and not just lady night? Because there's only one woman here. Wait, where's my son? Oh, god damn it! I left him out of the lighthouse. <laughs> I never brought him back. Oh, but there's a nice portrait of me with my other son. Wait, why is everyone floating? I think there are more vampires here than I thought, by the way. Nice throw. <laughs> Dude, there's a time where you just stop. He just doubles down. So many women and only one man. But hey, it's the most majestic man of all. <laughs> Alright, stop hissing. Stop hissing. They're not all vampires. Don't out yourself. Drink this. Wait, attempt to swipe. Why? <laughs> it's just a drink. That's it. This guy is useless. Look at this. He's spilling everything. <laughs> There we go. Now I will tend the bear. She's going around to check on him. Oh no, just stand on his face. Either or. Ah, yes, I'm getting the- Okay, I can't even stir something. This is taking the piss a bit. I just took her drink instead. <laughs> I took one of the drinks that he had prepared and I'm like, yeah, it's a pretty good night. Screw being a doctor. I should definitely be a bartender. Oh, I was only allowing him a taste, apparently. I took his, the rest of his drink. Somebody turn that music down. We're not here to party. We're here to celebrate me. Hey, too much attention on the TV and not me. All right, you're just gonna dance? I'll turn that off too. Oh, it's Grim. Uh, fancy see you here on ladies' night. Oh, God damn it! they caught me. <sighs> I can never get anything I want in plain sight, can I? I should have caused a distraction by murdering someone again. Oh, he woke up. <laughs> He's got a bit of a sore back. Well, what happened to her? Oh, it's just the lighting. I was like, how did you get sunburned at night? All right, now that the old ball and chain is here, it's not as fun. I'm going home. Grim's gonna be like, uh, where's your son? <laughs> eh, I don't know, at some lighthouse with some ghost dog. It's like Scooby-Doo, he's having a blast. Oh, look, Grim's having a great time. <laughs> Again, outside. Nice to meet you. I feckin' know you, unfortunately. Get out of my house. I'm gonna fire you soon or worse, imprison you. One of two things is gonna happen. I'm gonna force him in or I'm gonna force him out. Okay, good. Picky. Wait, no, not picky. Project. I just confused my son with my dog. Uh, Project is off the bed. <laughs> He's in a fantastic mood after being stuck in that bed for days and then stranded at a lighthouse. <laughs> Gotta say, though, this guy is like a blood bank. It's great to have him around. Have you ever seen a man as majestic as that? I don't think so. And he can sing, too. All right, work time. In time, with skilled dedication and a passion to help his fellow sims, Jim will no doubt go far in his career. Oh, I'm screwed then, aren't I? But imagine all the blood in a hospital. Mm. He immediately starts mopping. You're not the feckin' janitor, man. <laughs> all right, we got some patience here. Who's the most attractive? This lady. I like her hair. Treat starry eyes with meds. I don't think that Jim knows much about 
the medical profession. <laughs> Patient cured. Okay, that works. All right, I'm gonna cure you next. I'm gonna treat her for the same thing and him the same thing. Okay, I don't like the sound of this. I don't think this is gonna go well. I just give them all some pills and send them home. Go on, start some like office relationship. That'd be great. It's like, hey, I'm new here. Name's Jim Pickens. <laughs> start kissing his hands. Like, look at these goals. My job performance is at zero when I've cured everyone in the hospital. Wait, he's mean? Why are you threatening me, buddy? I will push you around. Oh, uh, there's people at the entrance. Wait, I think I just sent this one home. I guess the meds uh, had some side effects. Wait, why are you sitting on the desk? All right. You're admitted now. Hey, stop hissing at the child, you're gonna scare him. Ask him to leave. We got actual grown-ups here who need to be taken care of, and please stop trying to mop. Wait, he's a doctor, why are you not doing anything? Alright, I'm taking on two patients, no more. Look at this, there's a bloody crowd and no one's actually making an effort. Alright, she's faking it, she's laughing away. Please stop trying to mop, why do you keep leaving to mop? I don't understand. Oh my god, he's going back to mop, just feckin' mop it then. Go on, mop the whole hospital if you got it. Oh, I gotta transfer him to a doctor, transfer him to this dead guy. <laughs> yeah, this thing is gone. You're wasting doctor's times. That's punishable by death, I hope you know. That's right, never waste my time again. Luckily, none of these doctors care about you, so you will probably just die. Next patient, they all just run out the door. And the kid is a separator, so he has no idea anyone's in pain. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure he can see through that crack. <laughs> but if he can, he's happy about it. She died in the room with the kid. The kid is just dancing away, he's happy. Wait, where are you going? Come back, I'm not done with you. Okay, I've upset the whole hospital. Oh, what's happening to you? You need a blood transplant now. End of shift, Jim did a terrible job today. Hopefully no patient suffered due to his negligence. Seriously, I was the only person actually working. Sure, I killed one person, but what's that? How many people die in hospital every day? It's such a small statistic. Hi there, my name is Nanny. Oh my god, feck off. I'm actually gonna kill that guy. God, Jim is nearly level 10 in cooking. He's actually quite the chef. I didn't realize. I'm sure you can cook like a really good- <laughs> He's level 10 in mischief. <laughs> but you can cook a meal to like extend your life or something. I'm sure you can. Beautiful form project. You're getting better every time at what? Hey, why are you swimming with him? Man, this nanny just gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> Imagine you saw the Grim Reaper fishing in a suit. That would spook the bejesus out of me. I'd be pretty shook now. Also, there's grass growing out of those boards. Just wanted to point that out. What is his obsession with mopping all of a sudden? He wants to mop at home now as well. Like, where's he going? Are you seriously mopping down there? Oh, Project aged up. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> He's like something out of an anime. <laughs> oh man, he's so deep and mysterious. What happened, Project? Was it all those years stuck on the bed? Is that what happened? Why does he have vampire energy? He's not a vampire. Is he? How is he a vampire? Is it genetic? I want to see what anime version you turn into now. He looks so innocent. Oh my god, now he's terrifying. He just basically puts on a swimming cap. I guess he'll remain an edgy teen forever now. Alright, I'm gonna try a different job since I definitely was not appreciated at the hospital. Wait, death by sun? It's 2 a.m. There is no sun. Jesus Christ. What is going on? Jim is dying, but he's just standing there. He'll lope immediately. <laughs> Quick, get the house, Grim. Jim Pickens has died from overexposure to the sun. No, 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 no. No, 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 this is not how this ends. Get outside, get outside, it's really important. No, I can't move anyone. Okay, I think Jim dying may have broken the game. We are in the wrong timeline here. I just put it on fast forward so I could go get another job. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to load my game. It's just not working for some reason. Okay. Okay, just hold the phone. All right. I load the game and the Grim gets immediately abducted. What is going on? I just thought, hey, I'll fast forward the weekend, get my science career at the end, and then we'll go from there. But no, aliens had other plans. Picky's gonna get taken away. There's not a hope of him lasting. Not a freaking chance. And Project is on the bed again. Why is everything going to shit all of a sudden? Yeah, I pretty much have the same expression that Project has right now. Just the fuck? <laughs> and he's back. Is he pregnant? Okay, there was no pregnant noise anyway, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye on him. But how did that happen? He literally walked out the front door. Why are you standing in the bowl and making that dog look up your skirt? What is wrong with you, you absolute pervert? Okay, you know what? Everything is going wrong. I think we should stop now before it gets even worse. I wanted to do the science career, but we have gone on for quite a while, I guess, and uh, everything just seems to be falling apart. I feel like we need to just put the game down and let it all calm for a bit and come back to it. Now, the next episode uh, may have seasons. 
seasons. It depends when I when I upload the next one, but uh, hopefully I'll have seasons next time and we'll have some fun with that new expansion. But other than that, I guess I will see you next time. So thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it as always and bye for now.